Here we go. The 2014 champion of the world on Baby Flo. Congratulations. Congratulations. World champion. Welcome back to another vlog. This vlog is brought to you by the Vanity Planet Forever Young Wand. This is absolutely amazing. So everyone's been asking me what I'm doing so different with my foundation and no filter. I am actually changing up my skincare routine. So when I put on my serums and my moisturizers, I'm actually locking them in with the Forever Young. So I turn it on the hot setting and it's got a sonic setting too. And I go over my entire face, heating my pores up so that I can get everything to absorb into my skin. Then when that's done, I turn on the cold setting to tighten up and reduce the look of any fine lines and to get rid of puffiness and to lock in all of the stuff I just put on it and lock out all of the bad stuff. So I'm excited to give you 75% off of this bad boy today. So make sure to check out the description in the box below. You're gonna get this for 75% off. You charge it with a cute little box charger with a USB charger and you can pack it and take it with you absolutely anywhere. So it fits really nicely into your makeup bag. And I even have been taking this with me to work um, because I found a little relief um, from headaches when I go under my eyes and get a little cold on there. So I hope that you guys absolutely love this. Take advantage of this today. The description is right below. Again, the code is FT forever. All right, it's time to get into this vlog. Don't miss out on this bad boy though. What's up, Flomies? It is a gorgeous ranch day. And what's very cool is that we are working with Brad Bevel, my dog trainer, you know, the guy that worked with Caesar Milan. Okay, well, he is here to play with some horses and we're gonna show you all the things that we're gonna do. We're gonna start with Hefe the rescue, let him feel the difference between Hefe and something that's got a Ferrari engine like Hush Money. So we're gonna check out what his insights are, take a look at what these horses do and see who's gonna win, Brad Bevel or the horses. Let's check it out. Okay, you guys, before we get started, I want Brad to feel these horses on the ground and start to feel like what those vibes are like between horses and dogs. So feel the difference of leash pressure compared to lead rope pressure. So we're gonna start out with Hefe the rescue horse now. He hasn't had a lot of lunging and he's super muddy from being just outside living his best life. You guys comment below which horse is your absolute favorite from today. There are so many fun things that we're gonna do with different horses. So check out Brad with Hefe. Then we're gonna move to Hush Money Girl because she is the, the Ferrari of the barn with a lot more energy. And then we're gonna move up to the queen, Baby Flo. And then after that, we're gonna let Brad with play, play with a horse of his own size.
Okay, it's time to let Brad ride, and of course, my bestie has come in to let me borrow a horse for today. Oakley Ray is a new horse here in the barn. She's new to the training program. I've got two outside horses in for training this month, and that is Vegas, the gray horse, and Oakley, the chestnut mare. So, Oakley is super chill, like, super chill. Check, check out Brad trying to get a halter on her, and then we'll get her saddled up. Before we even get started, I'm gonna have Brad get on the mounting block. Do you guys remember the vlog where we had Rich and Sean Sarantos get onto Sunday brunch on the mounting block? Okay, fingers crossed that he falls for this. Uh -huh, this much. All the girls don't feel like Sarantos getting on. He said, uh uh. No Dang way. it. <laughs> Make you look like it. <laughs> so you're so gonna look. Do you hold both? I do, and even just riding around, sometimes I'll relax and have one. Okay. It's harder for if you're a little bit beginner to get them to walk straight with one hand because we tend to shift our bodies yeah. one way or the other. Yeah. The other thing is there's magic in your eyeballs. Okay. So wherever you look, yep. you're gonna go. Yep. And when you look, all you have to do is squeeze your legs, and I always say like driving from the hips. Yep. So if you just squeeze and move forward, you're gonna, she's gonna feel that. Cause like, if she feels a fly land on her butt, she's gonna twitch a square inch of skin. Yep. It doesn't take much. Yep. So the problem is if you get distracted and start thinking about something else and kind of your eyes wander or you look at something, you're gonna end up over there too. Gotcha. Yeah, so just walk the entire perimeter, okay. just so you can start to feel the stuff go wrong. Okay. And then right there, just up where you want to go? Yep. Really good. Okay, now you're going to go faster, so just keep your eyes forward. Really good. That's like, really great. Uh, I feel like really, I'm, really good. Look at my etiquette. Is it good? Keep, yep, it's really good. And you're welcome because she is the smoothest Let's horse go. of life. Just squeeze, but don't release it. So you see how you're going whack? Yep. Squeeze, squeeze until she does the thing. Ah, uh, gas pedal. Now slide your right hand down. There you go, just like that. Yeah. Heels down. There you go. Smooch, keep smooching. There you go. Perfect. This is like, I feel a little bit out of control. Just say whoa and sit back just like that. Whoa. Really good. Follow the tracks. I'm trying. There you go. Now grab your saddle horn. There, now look up at the next barrel. Nice job, bro. There you go. You got it. Yeah, good job. You got it. You got it. Hang on tight. Now go fast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hurry. Yeah. Hurry. Yeah, hurry. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so Brad didn't fall for the mounting block, but he got on and he rode beautifully. Why don't we turn up the heat a little bit and bring out the big guns? It's time for Brad to show his stuff on Nephi. Have 
have any distraction, it's very hard to ride this one. Yeah, and this one's the calmest one. That's the calmest one. That oh, is the that calmest one. That one with knickknack is the calmest one. In the back, yeah. Mm -hmm. In the back, for sure. Um, so I have a question. Yes. At this point, with one of my clients, I'd say, hey, let's let's come in another day and <laughs> and work. I say let's do it again. <laughs> okay. Or get on this one. You can go back and go faster. Yeah. Um, I'm real over, so I just kind of want to get through one. Yeah, that's what I would like. Respect, homie. Mutual respect. Thank you so much. That was amazing. Thank you. Mutual respect. I can't do your job. All right, so Brad didn't have that great of a time going super, super fast, but we're gonna rewind it back, let him go just a little bit slower back on Oakley now that he's learned brand new skills and he can go put them all into action. Yeah, perfect. Nice, 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 nice. Straight to the third. Perfect! Woo! That's perfect! Perfect. Yeah, hurry, Brad! Woo! You got it! Okay, guys, that wasn't easy, but I am so, so stoked that Brad gave all of his time and effort to learning all about the sport that we love. I know that a lot of barrel racers, hunter jumpers, dressage um, riders, equestrians of all kinds, we love it when people understand how difficult our sport is. And I'm so honored that Brad took the time to not only be introduced to the sport, but be humbled by it. So, you guys, a huge round of applause for Brad and his amazing, amazing skills. Today was so incredibly fun. Now, we're gonna wrap it up by having Brad kind of utilize his expertise across many different species. So we're gonna grab Itsy Bitsy the goat, Bath Salts the pony, Vegas the training horse, Annie, my dog, well the ranch dog, and Sweetie, Brad's dog. He's gonna take them for a walk and see if he can cre create some harmony for these animals across a bunch of different species, just so we can see how all of these things can be interconnected so we can build more trust, loyalty, and respect. and say, say thank, thank you to Jesus. Jesus. Got it. He doesn't have it. Watch me. <laughs> you guys, make sure and go follow Bevel Dog Behavior over on Instagram. Brad's going to do a big giveaway to one person that comments and likes on his very last post. I'm so excited that you joined us. Thank you. And thank you for not hating us for riding Nephi. I don't hate you for anything <laughs> other than every time I'm with you, you tell people I'm giving it away. <laughs> it's like every time without asking. <laughs> He's for sure giving away his car, his house, his kid. It's all for free over at Pebble Dog Behavior. <laughs> all right. So what she really means is count your blessings, drink your pro protein shakes, and say, say thank, thank you, you to, to Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> you got it.